This video is going to show you how to view and download Word documents, PDFs, and PowerPoints in the content area of D2L version 10.3. Something new in this version compared to version 10.0 is that these kinds of documents can now be viewed in line without having to download them to your computer. Here I am in the table of contents of a course, and I'm going to view this sample Word document syllabus. To do that, I simply click on the document link here, and it's going to show me the Word document right here within D2L. If I want to print this version of the syllabus, I'll first need to download it to my computer, and I can do that with this little download button. Notice I hover my mouse over it, and it says download. If I'm having trouble viewing this document, I can switch back and forth between text view and page view using this button right next to the download button. Notice that in text view, I'm losing all the original formatting of the document, but the text is still there. Now, if I want to navigate back to the table of contents or a specific module in the course, I can do that in a couple of ways. One way is to use the breadcrumb chain that appears here. Notice I can go back to course documents or the table of contents. I can also use this little pop-out menu. Notice from here, I can use this link to go back to the table of contents. I can use these links to go to any place else within this module, or I can use these arrows to move from module to module. I could also use these arrows here to move to the next item in my course, or I can simply click the back button. For now, I'm gonna use breadcrumbs to go back to course documents. Now let's take a look at the sample PDF syllabus. This functions pretty much the same way as a Word document. You click it to open it up in the D2L window. From here, I can download or print this document just like I could the Word document. Now one thing to note that using a Chrome browser, it's not giving me access to that little print button, but it is giving me this option to use this print icon. So that's something to be aware of if you're using Chrome. If you're using Explorer, the same download buttons are going to be there. And again, if I wanna go back to course documents, I can use the breadcrumbs the pop-up menu, the arrows, or the back button. Finally, we're gonna take a look at a sample PowerPoint file. Here's what the PowerPoint file looks like in D2L. Again, I have the view as text option and the download option, and I can scroll through down the slides of my PowerPoint to view it. Now, in this particular example, you'll notice that we have these little gray audio icons. Now, these are telling me that this is an annotated PowerPoint of some sort. There's audio files attached, there's narration attached, and I want to be able to listen to those. Well, in order to do that, that's, this is another thing you have to download to your computer in order to do. So, if I want to view the annotations or hear the narrations, I simply click the download button Button to download it to my computer and then I can use the PowerPoint controls to play this presentation from the beginning.